was a nice shindig last night. Yeah. I can't believe my little girl's getting married. Me too. I thought she was a lesbian when I first met her. <laughs> Morning. Morning, Buttercup. Where's your bigger half? <laughs> he left for work. So how was your first night as an engaged woman? Hmm? It's different now, right? I know when Vince proposed to me, we connected on a whole new level. That was a God-given stiffy that night, too. <laughs> no pills, just pure adrenaline. You get that she's my mother, right? <laughs> Which reminds me, if you need someone to walk you down the aisle, I would be honored. No, tis I, the lesbian, that would be honored. <laughs> I told you your voice carries. <laughs> when Mike and I set a date, I will definitely consider your offer. Try to avoid the summer. We Marantos are a sweaty people. <laughs> I don't want my hair paint to run. Yeah, and for me, try to avoid the winter months. When my little girl gets married, I want to wear something low cut, show off my bouncy C's. <laughs> like a mother does. <laughs> We're not even talking specifics yet. Don't let them drag the engagement out. Guys will take a free meal as long as they can get it. And by free meal, I mean copulation. <laughs> it's gonna be a long walk down that aisle. <laughs> hey. Joyce! I'm downstairs! Be right there! Take your time, I'm gonna talk to the kids. <laughs> hey, lovebirds. How's things? Vince, I don't wanna be rude, but we're kind of Kind of in the middle of something. I'm not here. <laughs> so, can we at least decide on the time of year? Is this about the wedding? <laughs> you believe it? We've only been engaged for 24 hours. She's already trying to fit me for a tux. He is going to fluctuate size-wise. You don't want him walking down the aisle looking like the Hulk got mad. <laughs> trying to narrow things down. If you want the good weather, there's only a handful of weekends to choose from. She's right. And if she's gonna do all the planning, you can at least try to be a little accommodating. <laughs> Thank you, Vince. Here to help. Maybe we can drive around this weekend and check out some places. Oh, I can't. Uh, I'm going fishing with the guys this weekend. This weekend? Oh, why didn't you say something? Well, it's not like I need your permission, is it? No. I think you could have said something before now. You invited me a week ago and have yet to tell your fiancé? <laughs> that does not bode well, my friend. Ben, you ready to go? Yeah, she needs to go. <laughs> Let me know when you figure out the details. I can get you a deal on peel and eat shrimp and a swan that's trained to be a ring bearer. <laughs> They can get swans to do that? Hey, you wired her beak shut and drug them. They're a very cooperative species. <laughs> By the way, I'm going fishing this weekend. What? Why the hell am I just hearing about this now? You want to talk about There's it? There's nothing to talk about. All right. So you're just going to pout all weekend? I'm not pouting. I'm quietly reflecting. The time to be quiet was about an hour ago. You guys heard us? A little bit, but between the dogs barking and your neighbors yelling, shut the hell up, it was hard to make out every stupid thing you said. Although don't clip this eagle's wings was particularly cringeworthy. Can we just change the subject, please? Sure, okay. gladly. Absolutely. Carl. Yeah? I'm not having fun yet. Just give it a chance. Before you know it, there'll be more fun than you can handle. That's what they said in the gay tent. <laughs> can you at least explain why this adventure has to take place in the middle of the night? Well, it's simple. You want to get your hook in the water before the crack of dawn because the fish are still sleeping and they'll put anything in their mouths. It's the same way with broads. <laughs> How can fish sleep? They have no eyelids. Well, you can sleep with your eyes open. He's right. My Uncle Pete slept that way. He was dead for two days before we even knew it. We thought he was just enjoying a Twilight Zone marathon. <laughs> Speaking of dead, did anybody bring worms? Hey, there's a new roomie. Evening, Mrs. Flynn. I heard your mama rang a guy's bells all the way to heaven tonight. <laughs> so Molly's working late again tonight, huh? Yeah, she's really shooting for that vice principal job. Vice principal, huh? Kind of a butch job for a broad, isn't it? 
What are you talking about? Well, in my day, the vice principal was a hairy goon that slapped you around for taking a girl's cherry in the gym teacher's skylark. <laughs> you understand she works in an elementary school, right? Absolutely. If it was junior high, they'd kneecap you with a phone book. I think most schools now have really cut back on the physical abuse. And that's the reason we're all going to be speaking Chinese in 10 years. <laughs> I think nowadays the vice principal job's mostly administrative and not so much about skull cracking. Well, goodbye, America. <laughs> I hope you don't mind rickshaws in the carpool lane. I'm actually very proud of Molly. Instead of just griping about the problem, she's trying to fix it. Well, one of those, huh? <laughs> well, you're a better man than me, my friend. I wouldn't be able to take a back seat to my old lady's career. It's not about taking a back seat. I'm just trying to be supportive of my partner. And I admire that. I guess I'm not man enough to be as womanly as you are. <laughs> you know, Vince, I'd ask you to come join me in this century, but you don't seem all that comfortable in the last one. <laughs> Call me old-fashioned, but unlike a suit, a relationship does not come with two pairs of pants. <laughs> hey, I just remembered I have a TV in my room. <laughs> oh, come on, I hurt your feelings. You know, sometimes you're kind of a big girl. Yeah, well, this big girl has a gun in her room. <laughs> Son of a bitch always has to play that card. Oh, grab that, will you, Vin? I'm making us some candy corn teenies. Hold on, you little bastards. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, don't lean on the bell like that. What are you, diabetic? No, I'm Batman. Well, I'm Satan. Welcome to hell. One for you, one for the little lady, and one for Four Eyes over here. I'm Harry Potter. A little advice. Lose the broom and get a strong male influence in your life. <laughs> just adorable, aren't they? Oh, yeah, I can't wait for Mike and Molly to give us some grandkids. <laughs> well, you're so good with them. <laughs> there you go. <sighs> Do I look like I'm from outer space? Oh, Manny, Mo, and Jack. <laughs> Can you tell which one's the fake one? No, and I'm really looking. <laughs> Baby, you sure you're ready for a night of guys eyeballing your honkers? Business as usual, really. <laughs> but now I get to say, hey, my three eyes are up here. Hey, look at that. You do have three eyes. Vince, get the door. I'm going to have to sleep on my back tonight. <laughs> oh, you got to be kidding me. You guys are a little old to be trick-or-treating, aren't you? Just give us the candy, man. What are you, like, 30? Get a job and buy your own. Just give him the candy, Vince. Yeah, just give us the candy, Vince. No, there's a principle involved. These mopes didn't even say trick or treat. Trick or treat, okay? Come on, just give him the candy. Otherwise, I'll crap on the lawn. She's not wrong. Let me handle this. Trick or treat, boys. One for each. If I had four of these things, I could rule the world. Hey, honey. Hey. Vince and I were just talking, and we really think a double wedding is the way to go. No kidding. Since we're going to be all dressed up anyway, the I do's become we do's. Alakazam, twice the romance, half the cost. Alakazam, indeed. <laughs> we could probably get a great package deal on a honeymoon, too. You thinking what I'm thinking? I'm guessing it's not help Molly with the groceries. <laughs> Princess Cruz. Bingo. Oh, it's like a floating Las Vegas. Great shows, wonderful buffets, and once you're in international waters, going topless is practically mandatory. Once in a blue moon, you get seasick and yak, but it's all you can eat, so you're not really losing any money. Well, let me think about it. Oh, um, no. 
We planted the seed, just let it grow. Shake a tail feather you can paint and pluck in the back of the RV. <laughs> I thought you were getting a room at the casino. Not just a room, my friend, the presidential suite. That's three beds, a wet bar, and two and a half crappers. <laughs> well, then why are you renting a mobile home? Well, the casino is right on the Illinois-Indiana border, and I have some business that requires wheels, cargo space, and temperature control. <laughs> Back to selling expired meat out of the trunk of your car again? <laughs> Before we continue this conversation, am I talking to Mike the cop? or Mike the lovable lump who can keep a secret. Forget it, don't tell me. I don't want to make myself an accessory. Don't worry, it's not illegal. At least not in Indiana. Bring it back fireworks? How are you not a detective? Well, the written test really thins the herd. I got a connection who gets them directly from Shanghai. And not just firecrackers and bottle rockets. We're talking those big mothers. You want to light with a six-foot punk and another guy's arm. <laughs> and uh, do the women folk know they're going to be tootling around in a vehicle filled with discount Asian explosives? Hey, those broads are getting a free weekend of jacuzzi tubs and pie gout poker. They could put up with a little white knuckling on the ride home. <laughs> All packed and ready to go. Hey, you guys are gonna have the place all to yourselves this weekend. Huh, you know, you're right. I hadn't even thought about it. Sweetie, did you realize that we were gonna have the house to ourselves? Well, I'll be darned. Huh. Gee, I hope I don't get lonely. You kids are welcome to come with us. There's plenty of room in the RV. No. no. <laughs> you, you go ahead and enjoy yourselves. We'll manage. We better hit the road. The sooner we get to Indiana, the sooner we can get the hell out of Indiana. Have a good time. Drive safe. Especially on the way back. <laughs> hey, don't mind me. I'm not here. I didn't see anything. Vince, what are you doing back? Well, we were headed up Wacker Drive, and I realized I forgot my erectile encouragement medication. Uh, can't you lie? Got your wallets? Okay, I forgot my wallet. <laughs> and my weekend won't be as enjoyable without a good stiff wallet. Stop it. I told you he's an old friend and we're having dinner. Not just any old friend, an old boyfriend. Oh, well, you explain to this lunkhead that a woman is capable of being just friends with an old former lover. Hey, if it didn't end with name calling and tire slashing, then the embers of desire are still smoldering. Actually, Vince, I'm friends with almost all my exes. Yeah, but they were all swishes. How'd you put it, Mike? Like the front row of a share concert? I never used the word swish. I said pansy. Mom, who are you meeting anyway? Remember Richard? Ooh, Richard, wow. What does that mean, ooh, Richard, wow? Nothing. I forbid you to go out with ooh, Richard, wow. Oh, you forbid me. Well, that changes everything. Don't wait up. Okay, you can go, but I want you back here by 10 o'clock, and your panties better not be in your purse. Don't be such an ass. You know I never wear panties with this dress. She expects me to believe that some old boyfriend calls her up out of the blue and just wants to take her to dinner? Who the hell does that? Well, Vince, human behavior has changed a lot since you slithered out of the ocean and lost your tail. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Was that a shot? Yes, it was. It's not a big deal. Mom and Richard dated a long time ago. He was a pilot. She was working as a flight attendant. I know what goes on between pilots and stews. I've seen more than my share of pornography. Uh. He's not wrong. It is one of the more popular storylines, <laughs> which I don't watch. <laughs> I'll bet at this very minute she's helping that jet jockey into his full and upright position. Vince, you're talking about my mother. You're right. Not for your ears. Her mother's a sexual <laughs> volcano. Insatiable. I can still hear you. Apologies. One time, <laughs> we were at the Olive Garden, and she took her shoe off under the table. Get him out of here. Vince, let's go grab a beer. And I don't know how she does it, but her big toe and second toe can form an almost perfect circle. If I didn't know any better, I'd swear it was my own hands. <laughs>